Hello boys, girls, and everything in between. It's Eric, and today I'll be sharing the positives and negatives that Kasumo has going for it. This is an honest take, mind you, so trust me when I say trust me. I'm gonna be talking about their site layout, whether or not they can be trusted, their payout and deposit methods, and anything else worth mentioning. And by the way, if you do end up checking them out, I'm including a sign-up link in the video description down below that'll bring you to the Kasumo sign-up page. There'll be a bonus just waiting for you, and believe me, it is the best sign-up bonus that you will find anywhere. So please, as always, take advantage of free money, guys. Now, after Googling the meaning of Kasumo, I can confidently say that there is no meaning. So I have no idea why the site is called Kasumo. In respect to the website layout, I think the perfect word to describe it would be meh. I mean, it's not a bad or confusing website. It's relatively user-friendly, and it doesn't try to trap you with flashing lights and glitter. I mean, even though you know, sometimes a little glitter is nice. The site just feels a little bit empty, like someone was coloring in a coloring book but decided to give up halfway through. And another thing is that, and this is the first time I've ever given much weight to this, but I don't like the wording and the phrases the website uses. I mean, right away, it says, Kasumo, your favorite online casino. Uh, yeah, Kasumo, don't make assumptions for me. And then right underneath that, they write, we've got 2,000 online casino games, but who's counting? Well, clearly you are, Kasumo. What are you, like, trying to be cute or something? And there are all kinds of other phony phrases scattered throughout that site that I will not get into, but Holden Caldfield would not be a fan. Okay, now that I've bashed the site a little bit, let's talk about some of the good things that Kasumo has going for it. Kasumo has a lot of credible licenses and certifications behind it. And although it was only founded back in 2012, it has since received licenses from the Malta Gaming Authority, the UK Gambling Commission, and the most Swedish sounding regulator of all time, a name that I'm gonna to totally butcher, Spelinkisbeka Nikonen. Um, and in 2019, it received a five year license to operate in Denmark from the Danish Gambling Authority. Damn, that is an impressive resume. But even someone who goes to Harvard can turn out to be a complete mess, Jeffrey Skilling. And so despite Kasumo's impressive credentials, they have actually faced three regulatory penalties since 2018. One for breaching anti-money laundering measures, one for illegally targeting consumers in the Netherlands, and another for failing to comply multiple times with key elements within social and financial concepts revolving around the industry. Gotta give a credit to Wikipedia for that last part. Another positive thing about them is that deposit and pay methods are definitely safe and secure, but extremely limited compared to other sites. At Kasumo, you can deposit and withdraw using Mastro, Visa Debit, Switch, Solo, Nuteller, PaySafe Card, Puggle Pay, Skrill, and Bank Transfers. Thankfully, there are no fees associated with depositing or withdrawing. And another cool thing that I might add is that there is no minimum for withdrawing. I mean, if you had a rough day and a bunch of bad beats and want to salvage your remaining $7 so you can go buy a cheap ass bottle of vodka, well, don't worry, buddy, Kasumo's got you covered. Kasumo also offers a really nice live casino. The video quality is solid and it does create an immersive experience. But again, with the stupid phrasing it uses, a live casino that looks like it's real because it is. Yeah, no shit, Kasumo. Clearly, a live casino is going to be real. The live casino offers everything you'd expect, but it even offers live Texas Hold'em, which I haven't seen that often on other sites. So I'll tip my hat to Kasumo for that one. Now, one of the best things that Kasumo has going for it is the customer support. The live chat feature is available 24 seven and the customer service team has a reputation of being friendly, knowledgeable, and quick with a solution. You can of course also email Kasumo if you happen to be a patient person, which I am totally not, but their email address makes me think that there's a middle schooler on the other end. I mean, their email is hey at kasumo.com, which is just corny as hell. Sadly, Kasumo does not offer a phone number for customer support. Listen, I get the rationale behind this. No one wants to have to field phone calls all day from other people either screaming about a bad loss, forgetting their login credentials, or asking why their money hasn't hit their account yet even though they cashed out less than two hours ago. 
But you'd think that with the recent regulatory sanctions Kasumo has faced, it would do everything in its power to give its customers peace of mind. But hey, maybe they're working on it. That's just my take on it. They offer some really cool things and their CV is unmatched. But there are other areas that just seem to be kind of half-assed. But you know, for me, the most important things are that if they are legit and they have good customer service and the payouts are efficient. And those departments, you really can't complain too much when it comes to Kasumo. Well, all right, guys, that's it for me on Kasumo. If this review made you curious to give them a try, go through that link down below in the video description and take advantage of that sign up bonus. And be sure to hit that subscribe button right over here and the notification bell to be notified of videos in the future. And until next time, guys, later. Thank you.